Hi, welcome to Lesson 9, Luderi Latine. I'm going to just begin. I went ahead and wrote down this because sometimes it's helpful referral. So if you haven't already done 15 minutes of review, press pause right now and go ahead and review your flashcards because remember, Latin only gets hard when you don't know your words. So our first word is verbis. If I say verb, verb, you should be saying, oh, and know the flashcard and tell me the flashcard form because is is not the ending that would have been on a flashcard, right? We don't have words that end in is. This has been declined. We decline nouns, we conjugate verbs. So this has been declined. It's a noun. What did it come from? Well, hopefully your memory is remembering it came from verbum verbi, which means word. So verbis, what happened to, what happened to that one? So let's remember our new neuter form. Um, e, o, um, o, a, o, um, is, a, is. So this is our singular side. This is our plural side. If I draw a line across each of these, we always say these in class on Mondays, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, ablative. So we have two ex um, two options that this east could be. So let's see. It could be nominative, genitive, dative. So it could be dative, accusative, ablative. So it could be dative or ablative, and we know this is the plural side. So do we have either a dative or an ablative plural? We do, we have an ablative plural. Good, so you would draw a line to connect the two of those. Next one, imperii. So hopefully if I say imper, it should jog your memory to one of your flashcard words from this week. Let's go back over if you're not sure. Imperium, imperii, imperium, imperii means command or empire. So if we go over here and in our head, we have to remember what's the E ending? Well, in neuter, second declension neuter, the E ending is only one thing, genitive singular. So we come up and we see, is there a genitive singular? Hey, there is, we did it well. And you would draw a line to connect the two. All right, renya is our next word. Remember the G-N says nya, nya, like in puño. Renya, what was renya? Let's see if you can remember, ren. Hopefully your mind said renyum, renyum, renyi, kingdom. We get our word rain from that. So what has happened with the A ending here? How many options are there? Can you think before I go down? There's two options. Remember, this is our plural column, so it could be nominative or accusative, plural. Nominative or accusative, plural. Do we have a nominative or accusative, plural? Well, there it is, nominative, plural. And you would draw a line to connect. Opie do. I always like to remember, you hear me in class say this one, the little town of Opadum. I'm from the little town of Opadum. So hopefully you knew that one. Opadum, Opadi means town. So what has happened to Opado? That's not the flashcard form, it's been declined. But what are our options? Think in your head, where do you see O's on the um neuter declension chart? Well, let's go look down. There's an O and there's an O. So that would make it either. Remember, this is what singular plural? Singular. So this would make it singular, dative, or ablative. Do we have a singular, dative, or ablative? We have an ablative singular. I should say it the other way around, not singular, ablative, but ablative singular. So there we go. And we would draw a line. Now, here's a question you might be having, or maybe your moms who are watching. How will I know if in a sentence I have one of these that has the same ending? How do I know which one it is? The answer is the sentence will tell you. The sentence will have other words that match together properly, subjects and verbs. Um, and it won't, it will be very clear that this is acting as an indirect object or a preposition. And you'll know which by, again, the sentence will let you know. So don't worry about that. Sinium. 
Okay, sinyum. If that is actually the how we learned it, sinyum, sinyi, sinyum, sinyi. Again, that nya in there. That means sign or standard, and that's very simple for me because if you get rid of the first part of the word, it says sign, doesn't it? Okay, sinyum, sinyi. So that's simple. Well, sort of simple actually. We have a accusative too. So it could be nominative singular, it could be accusative singular. What do we have here? Well, we have an accusative singular. So let's go ahead and check that one off. And did I not check one? Yeah, that's good though, because now we have to figure it out still, right? It's when you have all the lines, the last one, you just know to put it across. But no, we're not gonna just do that as you're probably doing on your paper. We're gonna figure it out. Bellow room. So the O room ending, that one's easy. There's just one. It's in the plural column. It is genitive plural. So do we have a genitive plural? Yes, we do. Ding, ding, ding. And you would just cross it across. Good job.